Okay, you, you, you ready to do this? Yeah, I am. Uh, now, I'm not going to lie. I... Wow, uh -huh. I have eaten way too many of these. This is not good. Well, actually, let, 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 let's, let, let's, let's start. Let's see. How many of these have I eaten at to begin with? Um, I guess it's the first question as well. Yeah. Actually, one second. Let me just make sure my rotator, my spinner, my fidget spinner. Yeah, my fidget spinner looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, Five guys good. on here? Yes. Okay, okay so yeah. So, um, all right. Which ones? Okay. Well, let's just see. I've eaten AW. I've eaten Arby's. I've had Baja Fresh. I've had Blimpies, but not forever. I've had Bojangles. I've had Boston Market, Burger King. Um, I have not had Canes, whatever. Me neither. Um, I've had Carl Jr.'s. I've had Checkers. I've had uh, Chick-fil-A. I've had Kaipotal. I've had Church's Chicken. I have not had Cookout. I've not had Col Culver's. I don't think I've had either. I've had Del Taco, which you guys can't see on the far right. I've had Denny's, Domino's, DQ. I've had Polo Loco. Firehouse, I don't think I've had. I've had Five Guys. I've had IHOP. I've had In-N-Out Burger. I've had Jack in the Box, Jersey Mike's, Jimmy John's. Never had Jolly Bees. I've had KFC, Little Little Caesar, Long John Silver's, of course, McDonald's, Moe's, Noodles Company. I think I've had that in airports. Panda Express. I've had Panera Bread, Papa John's, PDQ. I don't think I've had Penn Station. I've never had Pizza Hut, Popeyes, Portillo's. I've had Pop Belly, of course, Q Qduba, uh, Quizinos. I've had Roy Rogers. I've had. Sabaro, of course, I've had Schlotsky's, I've had Shake Shop, I've had, I haven't had Sheets. <laughs> I don't know what Sheets is, but I've never had Sheets. Um, Skyline, I haven't had. Sonic, I've had Steak and Shake. Subway, I've had. Swenson's, I don't think I've had. Taco Bell, I've had. Haven't had Taco Cabana or Torchy Tacos. I've had, I've had Waffle House, I've had Wawa's, Wendy's, Whataburger, I've had White Castle, Wiener Schnitzel. Um, I don't think I've had the bottom three. So there are probably like 10 or less that I haven't had. So I've had way too, too many of these as well. Okay. Yeah, as a <clears throat> pure blood, you know, <clears throat> Brooklyn born American, I think I've only not had about eight or 10 of these as well. So, okay. So let's, let's now, start out then. Let's start with we, eight. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, before we start, is it like, what is the criteria? Is it taste, value, availability? What it like? Is it a mix of everything? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 There's, there's a comment. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, lovey. I'm sorry. That 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 was that was uncalled for. Sorry. I just <laughs> there's just a comment. Sorry. Um, oh, I th I thought what, what what did it say? Uh, it was a comment about, about Chipotle. <laughs> what happens to after you go to Chipotle? Oh, sorry. Ah ah yes yes the uh, right. Sorry. Give me a second. <clears throat> Um, and Chipotle in forever. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. All right. So actually, I realized that we could start this out by just ones we've never had. But we're okay. doing this individually, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I've never had um, I've never had Jolly Bees. Never. I don't. I've never so had... Jolly. I think first of all, I think Jolly B is uh, the most popular fast food chain in the Philippines. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah. Oh. There okay. is one in Queens, New York, in the Woodside area because there's a, a Filipino enclave there. So. Aha. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. I never had it. Mm -hmm. So do what? What do we do? I was putting in the never had category, so I figured that category is easiest to fill out. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, okay. Th that, that's actually why I want to start there because, like, it just made it much makes it much easier. Like, I've never had Jolly Bee. I've never had Sheets. I've never had Cookout. I never had Church's. What is Cookout? What the hell is this? Lovey, you've never had Church's Chicken? No. What is that? Bill Church was a big chess sponsor in the 1970s. How do you? Bro, know I'm that? from 1995. Nothing before 1995 <laughs> matters. Like, <laughs> okay. 
Um, anyway, fun fact, you guys. The, the founder of Church's Chicken in the 70s and 80s, he, he actually was big on chess. Um, but anyway, yeah. Really? N yeah. I, I did not know that. Yeah. So, okay. Culver's I've never had. Yeah, I'm just filling my, my that part out for first um i have had so many of these oh my i know God. it's it's absurd isn't it i don't what is zaxby's i don't know i like how they're all chicken places like i haven't had so many of these chicken places oh, by the way levy also the one other thing i would say is that i believe it's bill church he also paid um he he also he also paid uh larry christensen the american grandmaster to uh basically travel and tour around to play tournaments and just tour so like he was oh. very big on chess I know somebody who has a private sponsor, not such a public sponsor, but yeah, okay. getting a sponsor is nice. Getting a sponsor okay. is Okay, so I think nice. I filled out my portion of stuff that I have never had. So I, I mean, I don't really feel there's no need to really talk about it because like if we haven't been there, can't really. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are eleven. Everything else I think I've had on this list. No, I haven't had Penn Station. Okay, so there are 12 that I've never had, Levy. Oh, wait, I mean, sorry, no, no, wait, sorry, no, no. Of course I've had Taco Bell, sorry. I, I think I grabbed Taco Cabana. Yeah, of course I've had Taco Bell, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I there had are 11. 17 of these. Okay, well, it's, how many is it in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's what? Well, it's like 50. It's a little over 50, right? So. Um, yeah, no, it's so, good. Yeah. You yeah. probably, I want, we probably have a lot of overlap. Oh, yeah, uh, there's one other one somewhere. Yeah, this is the other one I've never had. Right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And they're what? One, they're 15, 30, 45, plus 6, 51. 51 plus 12, so 63. And I haven't had 12 out of 63. So, um, so yeah, it's that, that's a pretty low percentage. Well, for me, the first one is A uh, and W. Okay, first one that you have not had or that... No, 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 for me, like... I, yeah, I, agreed. I okay, so then, yeah, let's just... You got all the ones out of the way that you've had, um, that, mm -hmm. that you haven't eaten at. Okay, let's start with A&W's then. Okay, so A&W's. Levy, what are your thoughts on A&W? I've had it <laughs> enough times to be in the never had category. I, I think I've had it like two or three times, and it's always been mm -hmm. at an airport. Uh, it's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, I've... um. Yeah, with A&W, I've, I've had it quite a few times as well. I mean, they, they, they feel like, I don't I want to say like they're a poor man's, or they a poor man's something. Everything. They, they do burgers. They're like, I feel like they're a poor man's, I mean, I wanted to say Arby's, but Arby's is not the right one, because they, they, Arby's is more like the roast beef as opposed to like the pure hamburgers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think like, I would say A&W is probably, I don't know, I think they're a solid D. And by the way, since someone in my chat says it says it's good in Canada, I've had I had I had some drunken nights where I ended up in A and W's late at night, um, and it didn't taste great anyway. So, um, so yeah, it's not it's not fantastic. Yeah, I'm starting out with D. That's what we're starting out with. Yeah. Um, okay. So next up, actually, speaking of Canada, why don't we have um, why don't we have um, a white spot? I don't see white spot on this list. So we, this is like we also don't so, have Tim Hortons. True, true. Yeah, Timmy's should be on here, of course. Timmy should be here, and yeah, Timmy's and uh, White Spot should both be here. Um, anyway, all right. So next up, we have uh, we have Arby's. <laughs> so, <laughs> we should uh, we should alternate. What uh what what are okay. your thoughts on Arby's? Yeah, so Arby's. I mean, I, I used to have Arby's in the old days. Um, a lot of like the roast beef sandwiches are decent. Still, I feel like there's not a lot of flavor. Pretty dry for the most part. Um, I don't know. I feel like Arby's, it isn't rel as relevant as it used to be. I think when I was younger, it was pretty relevant. Now it's just like kind of faded. I think it's probably like a C. I think it's a C. It's For me, it's a C. I, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually, I'm going to put Arby's in, I'm going to put A and W in C and I'm going to put Arby's in D. Hmm. I, yeah, I don't know. Ar Arby's is, yeah, I, 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 A and W is better than Arby's. I don't think they belong in the same category. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right, Baja Fresh. Yes, so Mexican. Uh, I mean it's it's okay, but it I would not get it if it was you know if there was other options for. Yeah, I mean I I think I agree. It's like it's like the Mexican. It's the poor man's Mexican kind of, like it's like the poor man's Mexican where they you pretend that it's fr uh, I mean fresh or that it's healthier or something, but it's just not. 
They're better options. Yeah. I'm putting it as C. I I just it's just not very good. It's probably upper tier C though for me, I would say. I'll put it in C. I feel like a lot of these are gonna end up in D, so I'm putting it in C for now. <laughs> okay, so next up we have Blimpy. Uh, Blimpy. Yeah, so I remember back before Subway became big, big Blimpy's was like a, was like the the go to sandwich shop in New York, um, or it's what you always saw in the ads. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know where to put them. I feel like they had their they had their time in the sun. Um, I mean, when I, when I look at this list, especially, and I see other sandwich shops, and I think every single one of them is better. I think this gets the first. This is the first one that gets the the special placement in the F, F. category. Yeah, I was gonna say if this sandwich place was that good, it would have survived, right? Didn't it come, like almost go bankrupt? Have you seen a mm -hmm. Blimpy ever? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I know it was really big in like the '90s, but I just I don't think I've seen one in forever. I kind of had forgotten that it even existed. Yeah, the same is there. Is there Quiznos on? The, yeah, the same with Quiznos. Blimpy and Quiznos were like. Mm -hmm. There's um, yeah, Blimpy is. Uh, they have probably one good option, uh, mm -hmm. out of their entire menu. So yeah, Blimpy's, Blimpy's an F. Yeah, what is it with so many adverts on screen? We're doing a tier list, you guys. Okay, <laughs> so so next up we have uh, Bojangles. What are your thoughts? You probably have never had it, I assume. No, I don't have it. I don't have it. Yeah. So, of course, those of you guys who are from the South, if you're ever in the Carolinas, you've got to have Bojangles. If you, if you haven't had Bojangles, you're missing out on what true, like, fried chicken is um, and what good Southern southern comfort food um, means. Um, Did you I feel think... comforted when you ate it? <laughs> or did you feel... Um, you know, it, it's... I, I felt great when I had it. I mean, it's just so legendary. It really is legendary for me. It's got to go in the best. It's just legendary. It really is. Wow. Yeah, and they have mac and cheese also at Bojangles. That's right. Yeah, it's totally uh, <laughs> missing hashtag ad on the title. Right, yeah. Yeah, Bojangles, yeah. I think it's just it's pretty legendary. I just thought about that. That would be really clever to do this with a sponsor and just vote it in the best <laughs> and vote everyone <laughs> below it. Right, true, true. That would be something. We could... My double bypass surgery agrees. <laughs> okay. Um, next up is Boston Market. You've had Boston Market, right? Yeah, I'm actually a big fan. Uh, I mean, like, I don't, I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I don't want to have it every single day. But, like, if I, I used to think it was, like, random because I never, I guess their advertising didn't get to me as a kid. Oh, then really? It, oh, okay. Hmm. Not as much. But then I went there a couple times. I was like, wait, this is, like, delicious. Like, the, the food is, tastes fresh, tastes good. You got a lot of sides. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's. Oh, there's no A tier and then S tier. Uh, it's a really, really, really high tier B. I would yeah. not put it on the... Yeah. I, I For me, totally. Since there's no A tier, since we just have the best, it goes in B for sure. Yeah. B is like A, basically, on this one. 100%, yeah, the... I would say it's at the top of B, though. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, yeah. Unless you don't eat chicken, in which case... Sorry. In which case, you're not American, right? Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Gotta eat meat. What are you doing? Right. Or you live in California. Um, <clears throat> right. So next up, we have Burger King, right? Yeah, you like Burger King? I feel like you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You don't like Burger King. Yeah, so Burger King. Um, yeah, it's <clears throat> been a... <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a... It's, sorry, my chat's going insane. Um, yeah, so Burger King, I mean, growing up, uh, oftentimes when we would drive place, we'd stop. I'd get like a Whopper. Whopper was really, really good. I remember that being good. Um, they used mm -hmm. to have pretty good promotions as well with like their kids' meals. Like I have a bunch of Yankees baseballs that I got from mm -hmm. from Burger King. They also have, like some really cool Men in Black um, things way back in the '90s. So I have like some sunglasses and so forth. Um, you know, I, I feel like Burger King is always pretty solid. It's never, it's never great. It's not top tier for burger chains. They've been surpassed by many other brands. So um, I think Burger King is probably. I think it's probably C. I think it's just it's yeah. probably upper end C is what I would say. Yep, that was gonna say it's better than A and W, but ah, yeah. uh, is it though? Probably, yeah, it probably is. For me, I'm gonna. Well, I have I have A and W and C, so I'm gonna. Put no, you know what? Actually, I think it's probably a D. Now that I think about it more, it's got to be D based on what I'm seeing in terms of burger options on this list. Even it's got to be D. It's definitely worse than Wendy's and McDonald's. Yeah, right, right. Uh, it's it's 
And but you know what? Now as I'm looking at, I think Arby's also is D because I can't honestly, in good conscience, say that uh, say that Burger King is worse than Arby's. I just can't. So I, I think yeah, I think that I think everything's like. And no, I'm I'm I. You know what? I'm actually going to agree with you, Lovey. I've readjusted. I think A and W is probably going to C, and and Arby's and Burger King are in D now on mine. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. is, is a weird one because I don't. I don't mm-hmm. know that much about them. Like I, I've had it like on the side of a highway probably, uh, but I never like was in a town and sought out Carl's Jr. Mm-hmm. Like I, and but yeah, I, it's tasty. It's either low B or just a C. Just plop it into C and you think uh, you think it's you think it's tasty. No, I don't. I think I think it's like it's it's for me it's a solid F tier. I'm sorry. It's just F. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just F tier. I'm sorry. Oh my for me, god. It's F tier. Um, I'm sorry. I've had bu- much right. better. I'm um, going to put it I'm going to put it in C. I I got some Fs on here for sure, but Okay. So next up we have Checkers. God, I feel like all of these are just different names and the same crap. Like yeah, it's like it's a lot of like burger chains. I mean, they make burgers and so forth. Is Checkers better than Carl's Jr.? I mean, I I have no clue. Like, they're, oh, I've had Checkers. It's like fine. Actually, no, I remember I had Checkers and it was pretty disgusting. And I've had it a few <laughs> times. So yeah, it, Checkers is the same as Rallies. Totally. Yeah, I think it's an F too. I'm sorry, it's just an F. Um, like I can't I can't say that it's it's good. How about uh, Chick Fil A? Well, I don't have canes or churches or cookout. You have right. So, so like Chick Fil A is pretty good. They've got the fries are decent. They obviously have a chicken sandwich, which is pretty similar to what Popeyes has. Um, I mean, they're 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 pretty reasonable, I would say. But they are closed on Sundays, which I don't like. That's really not acceptable for me. So to, that's one reason I have to put them in the C and not the B tier. I didn't. Um, I didn't remember that. Oh wow, wow. Uh. Yeah, as a Jewish man, deeply religious Jewish man, uh, I I tend to agree. So, uh, yeah, they're 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 bottom tier C unless they uh, they open up on Sundays because mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. All right. I All have right, Chipotle next, next. What do you have next? You have finished Chipotle, right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, I you know I'm I my understanding was that since I am part of TSM I'm supposed to get some some sort of Chipotle card but I haven't received it yet. However, having said that as as sort of my full disclosure, I still will say that Chipotle they make the best burritos. They've got pretty good bowls. Um I've never had a bad experience at Chipotle. So I think for sure it's um for me if, if I look at the category of what we have in the way of Mexican food um it's it's got it's got to be going the best here just because of the amount of um the amount of uh the the amount of uh mexican food we have here that's fair that is fair yep i i I agree i think it's b or did you put it in best what's that did you put it in the best i did just because i think it's the best of the mexican the the set of mexican like i'm gonna take one that i think for like burgers mexican whichever one i think think is best and put it in the best tier and when i look at the other other mexican i think it's the best i mean del taco i mean let's be real um so so yeah um okay so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, i think they're the best too um Yeah, they, they are definitely the best. I, I'm putting in the, in the best. Okay, okay. All right, so then next up, I have Churches, which you probably have not had, I'm assuming. No, I have not. Yeah, so Churches, it's like, I think Churches really, it was popular in the 70s and 80s. Obviously, I wasn't eating eating food in the 70s and 80s, really. Um, but it was really popular back then. It's like one of the original, I, I mean, it's like kind of, I would say, close to the original KFC. It was a big, big competitor with, um, with KFC. So I think, I mean, it's, it's seen better days. It's not not as relevant as it once was. Um, I think, for me, I think it still has some charm. So it's probably bottom on C tier. I would say bottom on C tier. Um, yeah. So I fasted through the seventies and eighty chill. Right. Exactly. Um, oh, actually, Levy, can we do squad stream since we're doing it separately? That's actually a good point. I think we probably should because since we're not doing the same tier list. Um, 
Uh, maybe sure. We should, I, maybe we should. I don't know. Let me see. Should we or not? Because I, it's, it's true. I assume there was zero benefit for you squad streaming with me. So I, that's, <laughs> it's, I it's, it's, I mean, ni it's nice to offer, but <laughs> I'm gonna get Hikaru some new viewers, guys. People who only know. I don't me. really care, honestly. Like, yeah. Um, all right, let me let me check let me check the disc. Um, I think I sent it to you actually. I think I think I sent you it. Did I accept? I don't know. Did you? I think I did. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Okay. So yeah. So you guys can see both. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. So what do we have next? We have Del Taco. So what are your thoughts on Del Taco? It's kind of very similar to um. Actually, no, it's not similar to Baja Fresh. I think of all the choices on this list, it's probably the worst for tacos, and it's basically a last resort. Mm -hmm. So, uh, fun fun fact: someone in my chat they they said they they their their favorite favorite restaurant when they were in Ridgecrest, which is where my grandmother and my mom are, was Del Tacos, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, that being said, back when I was a poor 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 young teenager, just after I dropped out of college, um, and I was living in Vancouver, there was a Del Taco just down the street from me, um, and I went there many many times, and I really felt like it was good to me when I had it, but I, <laughs> but I'll do um. All due respect, I, I seemingly ended up in the restroom every day, like within the next 20 minutes after I finished eating. Um, so I think that says a lot about the quality. Um, so I think, yeah, I think it's uh, it's F tier for me. Just like regular, like just visit to the restroom just to see what was up, like not. To... <laughs> oh, wow, cool restroom. All right. <laughs> I feel like there's a certain, there's a certain, <laughs> there's a certain, Russia on this list, which would apply to the situation. Um, so let's let's keep going on. All right, um, <laughs> let's keep going on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there's there's a good joke in there. It's like, um, yeah, I, I went and had I went and had Del Tacos, and then after I had Del Tacos, I went to Sheets. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next up is um, is Denny's. So you gonna name your restaurant Sheets, dude? Like, did <laughs> no one think that through? <laughs> All right, let's have this focus group. All right, guys, we're down to right, four options. Yeah. We got we got Del Taco, Pizza R Us, and Sheets. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, come on, man. Terrible. Uh, yeah. Do you have Denny's next, you said? Yes, I do have Denny's next, yeah. Yeah, Denny's is... Uh, it, it's 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 pretty good i mean for a 24 7 diner like i've never had a bad food experience i like diners um mm -hmm. now having said that if i have other options i will not pick denny's yeah but one of my most depressing tournament experiences was playing in dallas dallas is like a great city uh-huh but we stayed in a hotel where nothing was close except denny's so i had denny's for a week straight yep was this the airport hotel was it near probably the airport? yes Okay, I think there's a good chance I've been to the same Denny's then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't want Denny's ever again after that week. Mm -hmm. But as far as this list goes, it's, it's like a solid, you know, it's a solid option. I think it's like a high tier C. Okay. I would it's say for a... me, it's, it's a D. Okay. I've, I've, been, I've been there way too many times. And um, by the way, I will give a little bit of a rant, though. Big, big, big shout out to... Um, Shout out to whomever is not a fan of big corporations and fast food because when, when I've been to Denny's in the last couple of years, they've started putting the calories next to the items. And when you see like literally every single item on the menu has like a thousand calories, it's a good warning sign to like not eat fast food. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's a, it's a solid D for me. It's just a D. No, I'm, I'm open. I'm open to discussion. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. open to discussion. Yeah. But... All right. Next up, we have Domino's Pizza. What are your thoughts? Okay. So, mm -hmm. not that I'm speaking from experience, but uh, under the influence, the best. Uh, you get a pie. First of all, their deal is crazy. <laughs> the medium pie, um, the, the soda and the lava cakes, top tier. Like, when you want to just pick out, you get, you get this. Of all the pizza ones on here, Mm-hmm. It's the best, in my opinion. And there's not that many pizza ones, but it, it's, in That's my opinion, it's better, than, it's better than Papa John's, better than Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is... Yeah. Um, I think it's uh, it's low tier B. Low tier B for mm -hmm. me. 
Well, I mean, just based on the way that I'm, I'm categorizing, I have to put it in best because I, I more or less agree with you. Um, but like, I feel like I have to put something from every tier into the best. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I would also say is when, when I was growing up, I, I don't come from a rich family. Um, our one, I remember like when around the time I was like 12, 13, uh, our, our one, like our one, like special gift was every Friday. Like we, my brother and I would order it. We'd order a pizza from Domino's. So I had a lot of like, I, I had a lot of pizzas, um, from Domino's during, during that time period. And it was always mm -hmm. really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I can't say anything bad. It's definitely the best of the pizza places, and um, it belongs in the best tier for me. The fact that so many people are preaching – I mean, I've had, I've had all three. I've had Pizza Hut less than mm -hmm. the others. It's just, just my opinion. Uh, Papa John's is disgusting. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is so bad. I don't know what you people are eating, but I, it's not what I was eating. Uh, yeah. and, no, 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 no. Yeah. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut is gross. Also, by the way, I, I Pizza Hut is like something that was really hot. I think when I was very young, like I remember in like the early '90s, I feel like Pizza Hut was really, really a big deal. But yeah, I, I can't honestly say that. And Papa John's, yeah, it's just awful, absolutely awful. Um, so like I don't, I don't necessarily think Domino's should be in the best per se, but because I'm just categorizing it with like something from every different type of genre up there, mm -hmm. that's why I'm putting it in best. Yeah. I think, uh, and plus they have lava cakes, and those things are delicious. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, <sighs> Dairy Queen's weird, man. I don't. Right, Dairy Queen. Yeah, actually, where do you put Dairy Queen? I this... mean, did you ever eat food from Dairy Queen? I only yeah, ever I've had, got I've blizzards. Had, I, I've, yeah. Oh, you mean like real food? Yeah, like I, ice cream is like their their go to totally. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I might have had a burger once or twice, but yeah, the the ice cream, the like the the blizzards and all that stuff is probably eh i don't know is sonic on here or not sonic is yeah. on here okay it is on here. hmm yeah i don't know uh, where where would you put put it i'm gonna go i'm gonna go low tier b because every time i went to dairy queen as a kid it was delicious and i was never allowed to go there because I was, <laughs> it would destroy my teeth but ah, okay mm -hmm. no it's 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 great i would get it now i would get it there's just none nearby <laughs> so i would not mm -hmm. i don't think there's any nearby anyway so yeah low tier b for me Okay, I'm going to put it in C, probably upper tier C. Okay, so next up we have Polo Loco. Yeah, you could take this one, because I, I might have been there once, if oh, ever. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's just Mexican. Pretty standard. But is it like Del Taco Mexican? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a cut above Del Taco. That's not okay. saying very much, though. So I'm going to put it in D. It's just a solid D. Okay. Yeah. I was going to follow your lead. I'll put in DM. Yeah, it's like kind of whatever. Okay, so Firehouse Subs. Actually, I'm going to look at their menu because it's been a long time since, I, since, since I've been there. I want to see if they've changed Never had menu. them. Oh, you never had them? Let me see. Have no, but changed? I feel very feel very passionate, passionately about the next one. Yeah, eh. I mean, just another sandwich shop. Nothing too special. They haven't really changed much. I mean, I think it's probably a D. So it's just eh. It's just that. Eh. Um, five guys, right? Is next. Yes, five guys is next, right? So five guys, five guys is the guys? greatest thing on this entire list. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, it's number one. It's not even close. Five guys makes the best burgers. Shake Shack, get out of here. Wendy's, get out of here. In and out, overrated. It's the only thing I feel passionately about on this entire list. Five guys, number one. Yeah, my face. Yeah, so as someone pointed out, I will say that, I mean, five guys is okay. Again, the problem for me is when I go there, like the burgers have way too many calories, way too unhealthy. Um, not that they aren't all bad, but I feel like they take it to, they, they go the extra mile to make sure it's as unhealthy as possible. It's also expensive, true. It's also very expensive. Um, uh like let me let me think what do we have we've got five guys we've got in and out jack in the box which is a joke um shake shack i mean shake shack i think is way too expensive relatively so is it the best burger place like what a burger is pretty good they're all pretty good Terrible. but i think i think that five guys made a complete identity on burgers and fries and so they have like fresh meat fresh potatoes mm -hmm. Their vegetables taste good. 
and it's a little bit pricier. Like, honestly, if I could, I would eat Five Guys every day, but I can't. <laughs> so, well, I guess I you, can. You could just go to the gym every day. Yeah, but it's closed. It's, that's why in New York City, no gyms. Are, <laughs> but they did reopen like last week, yeah. so maybe. Yeah, I don't um, know. I mean, I. I'm hard pressed because it's like if I look at it just as in terms of the pure unhealthiness, how unhealthy and how tasty it is. Five Guys, I think, probably is the best. Um, like Shake Shack is ridiculous. Shake Shack actually is far more expensive, in my opinion, relative to what you get. Yeah, you um, get like a you get like something you like pick out of a trash can. Shake Shack yeah. looks gross and tastes overhyped. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. I don't know where I th I think actually as I look at it more I mean most of the people who are watching this are not out here on the west coast so I think I can say I think I'm just gonna put five guys in, in the best tier I think I am I think it's just in the best tier I think it's the best burger place on the list yeah I have five guys in Chipotle up top yeah makes sense yeah okay so next oh, up we have shit. International House of Pot Pies what, what are your thoughts Levy I think IHOP is a better Denny's. Like, mm -hmm. I know they have the pancakes. I, I know, like, that. Yeah. But that doesn't get them into B. So I think I'm going to put Denny's in D, and I'm going to put IHOP in C. That's what I'm going to do right now. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. Yeah, I, I think it's a C. I think it's a C. I agree. I think it's a C. Uh, when I was young, my brother, he really was a big fan of their pancakes. But I myself personally hate pancakes. I almost never eat them. It's just, like, empty calories, dry bread, like, that. Doesn't do it for me. Um, they are pretty apologies gross. to it's all like the eating French. A sponge. What's that? It's like eating a sponge if it's not good. Yeah. It's and like apologies to all sponge. the French people who love the creeps, but um, you know, it's just I just don't do it. I just don't do it. All right. Uh, it's, so... it's it's crepe. It's pronounced crepe. Please get it right. You know. <laughs> what is this crepe, you stupid Americans? You don't even know how to say. A... I know it has a little hat. It has a it has a hat on the letter, but you can get it right. You know. Exactly. Um. All right, so yeah, I've never, I've never really, I've never liked like pancakes or waffles that much. It's just never really been my thing, or or even like French toast, like just I don't know, just not my thing generally. Um, okay, next up we have In and Out Burger. All right, you're the Californian, so you gotta. Yeah, so In and Out. I mean, I, what I really like is they've kept it. It's it's been standard forever. It's just very straightforward. Um, tend, tends to be pretty good, pretty consistently good. I, I don't know, I mean, how good I would say it is, because it's just, it's good, but it, there isn't, I, I've never felt a wow factor um, the way I have, like, even at times with, like, Shake Shack, I've felt a wow factor. Um, I've never really felt a wow factor from, from in and out so I think for me it's just a solid B tier. Oh, I put it at the very top of C. It's unquestionably better than, uh, than, mm -hmm. than Burger King. I mean, like, the burger yeah. is very good, but, like, you know, yeah it, it's it's the marketing and yeah. <laughs> people were like oh you're going to san francisco you gotta go to in and out i was like all right i mm -hmm. went and i was like okay. it's good i mean it is probably the best value for money objectively though i will i will agree with that mm -hmm. so okay so jack in the box um what are your thoughts about jack nothing nothing crazy i've had it uh i've eaten it when i was really really hungry before and it was really good but i was really hungry Okay. So I do think it's better than everything I have in DNF. So yeah, probably low C or like mm -hmm. the top of D. Okay. But. By the way, just because of people in my chat are asking, there are people coming in. The reason I put Domino's in the best tier is because I'm putting the top of, of the categories. I'm putting one restaurant from every category. And I think Domino's is better than the other pizza, pizza options on this list. So it's not necessarily that overall I would say it's an S. But I, I would say that um, in general, it's the best of the pizza. So I'm putting one from every category up at the top. Um, okay, so let's go to, uh, oh, right, Jack in the Box. Yeah, pretty mediocre. I mean, I, I, they have good ads, but um, it's pretty lame as a, in general. Mm -hmm. I think it's like, I think it's D. I think it's a solid D tier. I, actually, maybe it's, no, it's not F. It's not F, but I think it's, I don't Hmm. Is it F? I I think it's D tier. I think it's just D tier. I think it's D tier. I think it's D. Um, okay. okay, next up we have Jersey Mike's. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Uh, uh, I, Jersey Mike's actually, for me, is the, mm -hmm. is the best tasting sandwich. 
uh, I, I like I used to live near one. I used to live in the financial district that we get Jersey mics all the time. Something about it, the way they do Mike's way, mm -hmm. you, it's like, you know, you got like salt, salt, pepper, a little olive oil, vinegar. They got fresh vegetables. It's uh, for me, I think it's my favorite sandwich spot. I'm putting it number one. Okay. But Jimmy John's is next, and it it's also good. But for me, it's Jersey Mike's. You don't like Jersey Mike's? No, I mean they're fine, but no, I don't think they're the best. Not even close. Yeah, I mean not even close. I mean not even close. Uh, I mean I think they're D tier. I'm sorry, they're just D tier. Wow. No, I don't know, man. I, they struck a nerve with me. Or is 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 is, is it strike a nerve or strike a? No, What's struck a nerve. Struck a nerve. Place on here? Struck a nerve. Um, favorite sandwich place. You know, I, I actually, I kind of like Potbelly's. I like, I love Panera as well. Um, okay, Potbelly for me would have been second. Potbelly's delicious. Okay, Subway I mean. Subway is, like, they had, like, paint in their bread, didn't they? Like, it's not. Su su Subway, Subway is pretty, pretty bad. Okay, so Jimmy John's is next. What are your thoughts? Uh, it, it's mid-tier. I've had it a few times. It's, it's, it's whatever. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I kind of agree. I think it's just D. I think it's also just, I mean. I can't really say it's better than Jersey Mike's, but I don't know. I think they're probably D tier. Jersey Mike's is the best, so I, nothing. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, you've got a different ranking altogether. That's true. Okay. So where did you put uh, Jimmy John's? I put it in D because I don't have a sandwich spot in D. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to put it in C. But Okay. Okay, yeah. so next up we have Kentucky Fried Chicken. What are your thoughts about KFC? I, it's a, it's a, it's a really bad version of Boston Market. Uh, I've eaten it before, but only because the people I was with wanted to eat it. Uh -huh. um, no amount of Colonel Sanders yelling at the camera will convince me. Otherwise, it is awful. It is awful, mm -hmm. awful, awful. And I feel myself dying every time I eat it. So I'm putting it at the bottom of the entire category. Yeah, I kind of agree. It's, it's definitely an F tier. Um, yeah. I don't know what y'all eating, man. I mean, y'all might as well yeah. eat like a tire from a car, like, <laughs> like straight up, go bite a tire. Like it's, you give more nutritional value and you'll feel better. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, so, so next up, Little Caesars. Mm-hmm. So actually, Little Caesars is the first um, real pizza place I ever had food from. Because growing up um, in the desert, like it was the only pizza joint in in the little town where I spent my first couple of years. So um, at the time, I thought it was really good. Um, I mean, I think I think Little Caesars is probably kind of just okay. I haven't had it in many many years, but I don't. I don't know. To me, I'd just say for me, it's. Let me see. What do I have to compare it to? I have to compare it to Pizza Hut and Papa John's. Um, so is it better than both? Probably not. Um, yeah, I think I think it's probably. No, I don't want to offend everybody who's in who's in Detroit, of course. But I think it's an F tier. So it's a, it's an F tier. I'm gonna put it in D because nothing is worse than Papa John's. I'm okay. amazed it's still in business, frankly. Okay, uh, but Shaq's an investor, man. How can you be hating on Shaq? I mean, Shaq's a he lot invest smarter than you are. He invests in Papa John's? I think, yeah. I think he bought, like, a real steak in Papa John's. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I thought he did. Am I wrong? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he is. Like, he's a board member, and he's a brand ambassador. Ah. Well, I apologize to Shaq. One day he can dunk on me or something. I don't know how <laughs> He they, can just how pick they... you up with one finger, probably. Um... I would love to see a, a, a charity <laughs> boxing match between Shaq and the Mountain. That would actually be interesting, yeah. Well, actually, Shaq had that show, right? Didn't he have that show where he like competed with odds against like people who are Olympians and everything? Yeah, I think so. Like, I just, he tried I, to I, swim against Phelps, as I recall. My there, favorite something, thing yeah. is Shaq versus Charles Barkley on Inside the NBA. It's the funniest mm -hmm. banter ever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Shaq is great. Um, uh, Long John Silver's, <laughs> Sorry, some of my chats I just got here. Domino's really, it tastes like ketchup and, and bad cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are too many good comments right now. Sorry, Lovey. Sorry. Let's let's get serious. 
Um, all right, so next up we have long, 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 long john, long, long, long john, sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally say the wrong word. Uh, long john silver, not to be confused with something else. Yeah, um, go ahead. You can... <laughs> all right, so, um, <laughs> sorry, uh, there was just a certain, certain male entertainer who, uh, who had mm. a similar name. Um, yes. All right. <laughs> Uh -oh. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, Long John Silver's. What are your thoughts? No, no. What are your thoughts? You seem to have some <laughs> thoughts. What, 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 what are your thoughts? Um, they're just. I mean, they're they're okay, but I mean, they just they remind me of again like a lot of like the Cajun style, like the the fried chicken, you know, the the fish. Like they're they're just okay. I don't know. To me, they're probably uh, probably I would say D tier, maybe. Mm -hmm. D -tier. Yeah. 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 Is I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe D. they're. I, I don't think they're quite F. They are. They were iconic once upon a time, so they're probably just F or D, I should say. <clears throat> so yeah, they're they're definitely definitely a um, definitely a, 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 a D tier. Okay, next up we have McDonald's. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. McDonald's. Oh my gosh. Uh, I've heard McDonald's around the world is a lot better than it is in the United States. Same, same with KFC. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't very high on McDonald's. I didn't like their burgers. I thought their fries were okay. I thought their chicken nuggets were like not great. And then recently mm -hmm. I ate it a few times and God help me, Hikaru. God help me. I'm about to, I'm going to become a religious man because something about it has just hit my heart mm -hmm. and it's so good. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop eating it. So, um, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I'm going to cheat on this one and actually put it in the best just because it's so iconic. And yeah, I think it, it's actually improved a lot in recent years too. Like everything I've had there has been really, really good. The dollar menu is great. Um, the nuggets have been good. Um, every burger I've had there has been fantastic. Um, and I've even done the McDonald's diet from time to time. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it's too iconic. It's too good to not put in the top tier for me. Yeah, I'm um, I'm putting it in B because Wendy's. I like Wendy's more than McDonald's. That's all. But for me, it's what? for me. It's, You're yeah. crazy. Okay. Wow. No, no, all no. Right. It's 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 Wendy's number one. He's number one. But so next up we have Moe's. So what do you think of Moe's? Uh, also, I think McDonald's breakfast is actually pretty underrated. I think like sausage McMuffin mm -hmm. and uh. Even their coffee's like not. I mean, it's not not the worst thing in the world. So, yeah, no, I I, I think that, I mean McDonald's has done a lot of things right. I would say um, in the last like ten years, like it's just it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind going to McDonald's. I used to think it was just terrible. Moe's for me, like every time I've gone to Moe's, it's been good. I just don't go to Moe's a lot. Like mm -hmm. something about their advertising is terrible, but I've had pretty decent experiences. So I think Moe's for me is probably a B tier. I've just, it's always been very tasty. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah. I mean, it's, I've had it a couple times in Florida. It's, it's pretty decent. Like I've always had good experiences. It's not, I don't, I don't have the, you know what. And, um, and so it's all, it's all, all pretty decent. So yeah, it's probably B tier. Okay. Next up is the noodles company. And I'm not sure if I've had, it. I think I have, but let, let, let me pull it. Well, let me let me take a look and, and see what exactly they have on their menu again because I'm pretty sure I've had it but I'm not certain. Actually, wait. No, actually I haven't had it. Sorry, I thought I had, but now I'm looking at the looking at it. I have not had it, so actually it just goes in. I never had. Um, okay. Have you had it? No, I have no idea okay. what it is. Although looking at looking at their website, whoever does the website does a good job because the ham and Gruyere Mac looks really really good um, on their homepage. So. Whoever designed their web page and, and, and like knows figured out which place to put at the top, that looks really, really good. So um that looks really good. Maybe I need to order some of it. Do, do they do it with postmates? Use code Hikaru and uh... I guess they just say that you can only order directly or something. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, yeah. Um but that that looks really, really good. Oh man. Ham and Greer, Mac and Cheese off. Anyway, alright, let's keep going. So next up is Panda Panda Machine, right? Or sorry, uh, Panda Express. Um, yes. What, what do you think? Um, I think it's just a big name of crappy takeout. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, I 
I really, I don't, you know, there's better food. There's just better, there's just better Chinese food. But like, if you want Chinese food and there's nothing nearby, like, yeah, you got to get that. So. Yeah, that's true. That, that's a good point. I mean, yeah, like I, I, I've had it in Arizona and I was like, it's like, yeah, it's just like generic Chinese food. Like there's, there's nothing special to it. So yeah. And it gets, it gets worse, the bigger it gets. Like if you get it from a mom and pop shop, like, you know, at least it's like, okay, you're supporting tiny business. New York has a ton of them. And yeah. There's just much better. Chinese yeah. I think, I think, I mean, I think, you know, I'm going to be honest. It's just an F. It's just an F. I'm sorry. It's just an F. I, so I much... can't, I can't give it higher. Okay. So next up we have Panera. So what are your mm. thoughts on Panera? For me, it's either the best or, or a very solid B tier. I want to keep my, 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 the best, like, kind of thin. I don't want to just stuff everything there. Uh, mm -hmm. But if I'm looking at what's left, damn. Um, it's really good. I really like Panera. I really like Panera. Soup, sandwich, drinks. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody's saying it's some white girl shit. I mean, I like I, it's delicious, dude. Like, it's never failed me. It's Hikaru, Would you say it's one of the few fast food places that over the last fifteen years has always been good? Yeah, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think Panera is probably like I would agree. I've had Panera more than probably anything else on this list in the last like five years. Um, but yeah, they always have like the drinks are good. They always have like these kind of like smoothies. They've got like the the soufflés at breakfast are amazing. Um, and, and it's actually like decent calorically. It's like 400 cows. It's not like crazy. Um, so the breakfast is good. I've had a lot of sandwiches from there. I've had like the, the half and half, like the soup mm -hmm. and like the sandwich or like, um, you pick two. Yep. 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 I've yeah, also had, um, like what else have I had? I've had some of their bowls. They had some really good bowls recently too. So, um, yeah, I would, I would, I'm from Italy. What are these places? This is America, you guys. Here in America, you know, we go out, we spend our hard-earned monies, and we get food. We don't, we don't, we, we don't stay in our houses. We ain't, we ain't cooking. We don't spend all day in our houses cooking. We go out, we spend our money, and eat the foods. Um, so yeah, so 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 Panera, um, <laughs> Panera is probably like for me a solid B. I put it in one of my top five at the very top. Okay, yeah, I think for me it's actually top of B. I, it's very very okay. very classy. Um, um, okay, next up we have Papa John's. So I'll let you take it away. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, no, it's better than KFC. Of course it's better than, it's better, honestly, it tastes better than, like, a lot of what I have in D, but it's F because I just, like, yeah. destroyed it before, it's so. Just, it's just F. I don't yeah. even have anything more to add. Total F. It's not worse than KFC. KFC's worse. Okay. That's, I, what, that, yeah. that's what I, that's my opinion. Is there a mosquito in my room? <laughs> oh no! Is it the is the Papa John's and KFC agent flying? Okay. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. So next up is Pizza Hut. So you know, anytime I go to Pizza Huts now, it's very or not go to them because I don't eat Pizza Hut. But anytime I go to like a Pizza Hut, it always looks so sad, and it feels like there's never much business. What? <laughs> That's so true, dude. I'm like, who? How is this place still around? How many small business loans have they taken out? Like Yeah, because anytime I go it's like it's empty, it's like some like sad looking restaurant. Like it just it never looks like it never looks like they're doing any business. Um yeah, maybe in the UK it's different. Cuz actually yes. they're but at the, I think actually I went to a Pizza Hut in the UK. I think in I think it was in uh, Edinburgh maybe a year or two ago, and mm -hmm. I feel like they had I think I didn't even get pizza. I think I got like fish and chips. <laughs> from the pizza hut yeah. in edinburgh oh, <laughs> i didn't even damn. get pizza um I, I think i did if i'm not mistaken <laughs> so um i think that says, <laughs> that says a lot um wait speaking of which why are some of these <laughs> names on here but no olive garden and no red lobster is it because those oh, are considered restaurants is red lobster is fast food i mean they, they they like try to force feed you these ridiculously good biscuits that have 300 calories in them like they try to force feed you these these ridiculously good biscuits. Um, oh man! Uh, Red okay. Lobster, I guess, it's not fast food. Okay, where's Hooters? So Hooters should be on here. That is fast food, right? <laughs> that, just, that, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, um, the, the you know wings. They got good wings. Good wings, definitely. Oh no, you you're 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 right. Oh okay. no, Fuddruckers. Yeah, there's no Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers okay. is the first place my family ever ate in the United States. Or no, no, Sizzler, Sizzler. Oh, Sizzler! I used to love Sizzler. 
You know what's funny is where I was somewhere recently and there was a Sizzler. I think I was in Arizona. I think when I was in Flagstaff there was a Sizzler, but um, but like they like they they're non-existent anymore. Like they yeah. they used to be everywhere across the country, like a hundred or something, and now they're like only like ten maybe if that. But it was really weird because when I was driving across the country in Flagstaff, Arizona, there actually was a Sizzler, which was crazy. Wow, yeah, it's pretty nostalgic because they they. They went to Sizzler, very first restaurant they ever ate at. Yeah. Well, not really restaurants. Mm -hmm. Strong, strong word. Uh, we have Popeyes next. Well, where do you put Pizza Hut? F, right? Oh, F, yeah, totally. F, yeah, F. total F, yeah. Okay, right so next Popeyes. to Papa John's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, so Popeyes. What are, what are your thoughts? I'm, I love popcorn chicken, and Popeyes. I don't get it a lot. Uh, I actually thought it was pretty gross, and then I've eaten it a few times. I'm not that bad, but it's. Mm -hmm pretty gross so i think i'm gonna put it at the top of d really yeah i, I, I would like have it. agreed with that assessment two years ago maybe uh well maybe not totally assess agreed with it but i i thought the chicken actually for me i like the chicken i like the mashed potatoes and then they came up with a chicken sandwich um which is just like the greatest thing ever um i, I think chick-fil-a is better than popeyes it's, it's just i don't, you I don't think, think their chicken bold. sandwich is better than popeyes chicken sandwich of course yes with, of, unquestionably it's so dry. It's like, I mean, it's got like, I ha I actually, when, uh, fun, fun story, you guys. But when I went to, um, when I did the whole TSM, when we did the whole recording, the shooting and everything, they actually got Chick-fil-A. So I, 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 my experience is very fresh with Chick-fil-A. I had a chicken sandwich and it was okay, but it was dry. There was no flavor like the sauce. It was, there's just like, it was too dry. So um, here in my defense, in mm -hmm. Among Us style, uh, Chick-fil-A opened their first place in New York City, and I think they're working really hard to impress us because the sandwiches they make here are mm -hmm. fire. So I think it's like people, it's in the memo. It's like, yo, we just spent like 10 million on this storefront. We can't go out of business. You got to make the best sandwich possible. So the sandwiches here are delicious. Anytime I go here, it's delicious, but maybe eh. somewhere else it wouldn't be that great. So. I don't know. For me, I've always loved Popeyes. I mean, they, they're not like they're not at the very top, but they've always they the chicken has all, the boneless chicken, like the chicken tenders that I've always gotten, and like having the sides like the biscuits or the mashed potatoes. I know my mom has always gotten that when she's done her cross country drives. I've done it a fair chunk of time in and around the D.C. area. Um, I just I, I I think it's I think it's pretty classy. It's got to be a B. It's got to be B. It's like I would say it's probably meh, bottom B tier. So next up we have Portillo's. Actually, wait, I've never been there. I don't even know what that yeah, is. Yeah, I, I don't even know what that I, is. Somehow I, I missed that at the start. But yeah, I don't even know what Portillo's is or Portillo's or however you pronounce it. Um, okay, next up we have Pop Belly. What are your thoughts on Pop Belly? Oh, so good. Very, very, very high tier B. Doesn't quite go. I mean, I feel bad because honestly, like, man, I like this in Jersey Mike's equally, but I can't. Like I'm not gonna lie, like a parent, I don't love the I don't love them equally. One's obviously a mm -hmm. little better, so I should it'd be difficult for me to become a parent. Uh, I'm gonna put Pot Belly at the top of B. Top okay. Of B. Okay. So for me, I mean Pot Belly, I have to put it. I think for me, it's my favorite of the um, it's my favorite of the sandwich ones for sure. I've had it a million times going through Dulles International Airport. Um, I always get the Italian sandwich with like the salami, like the mortadella. Yeah. It's always been great. Um, it's just been fantastic. So I, I, I've got to put it in the best. It's, it's definitely my favorite. Um, I mean, just, just definitely my favorite. Yeah, yeah I, I get everything. I, I get the Mediterranean. I get like the art, the one with the artichoke. That might be. The oh, same there's one. the wreck too. The wreck is really good. Also, I'd forgotten about that. The wreck. Oh man, that's also a good one. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I see somebody in chat says Dulles is the worst airport in the world. Weird champ. You um, mean the one in Virginia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Oh yeah, I played a chess tournament at the uh, at, at at Dulles, and uh, it was the worst experience of my life. Um, <laughs> I will never go back. And the Virginia Chess Association should just be basically defunded for even organizing a tournament there. So, <laughs> Icaro, Icaro, it was the only tournament I ever played at. I only ate at the hotel restaurant. There was nothing nearby. Nice. Oh, and by Nothing. the way, as a segue, you guys, we will do an airport tier list at some point. That's that's definitely on the agenda, but we need to put together a solid list of airports because that's one where I think we, we both traveled a lot, so we want to make sure we get a bit of everything. Plus, like, some go through renovations, and, like, we don't even know. Like, we could, you know, like, LaGuardia is getting nicer by the day, you know? But yeah. it's still garbage as far as I'm yeah. concerned, so. 
However, I will add one other thing since I, I've said this before, but Dulles is the only airport that I've ever been in where I've lost cell reception. There are actual pockets where you don't have you don't have a signal on your cell phone. I mean, I'm sure it's because it's DC, but it's the only airport I've been in where for pure portions of the terminal there's no 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 uh, no connection. That's so funny. Oh my what god. Happened? No, that's just like hilarious. I mean, the whole experience was just awful. Yeah. It was just so bad. Okay. Yeah. Wow. First world problems, man. First world problems. All right. You know, guys like guys <laughs> like watching this on like a satellite in a field. You know, he's just like, yeah. oh man, I've never even seen an airplane. And... Yeah. All right. Yeah, but Fair. Brussels is fine. Brussels airport is completely fine. I've been through there many times too. Nothing terrible about it. The worst airports generally are in the U.S. Though I will I will say that they generally are. Um. So all right. Uh. Next up, D. Next up is uh, Qdoba. What are your thoughts on Qdoba? Much worse than Moe's. Mm -hmm. uh, I've eaten there a few times, but it's not. It like, it's like a D tier Mexican spot. It's yeah, like a, I, I agree. It's very bad. Yeah, it's definitely D tier. Not good. Next up is Quiznos. <laughs> I already put Blimpy and F Hikaru. I feel bad. Like Quiznos has one tasty option, and it's the mesquite chicken. That's it. Mm -hmm. The Agreed. rest of the menu is terrible. I've had that so. many times, or I did back in the old days. People seem to disagree with me, but I feel like Quiznos has one good menu item. It's not great. It's not very good. I, I had it when I was living in Seattle back like around 2010. Uh, I, was, I was living in an apartment apartment complex near this this area of, of outside the city called Green Lake. And um, there was a Qdo or not Qdo, but sorry, there was a Quiznos right on the ground floor. And I went there like I went there every day for, for probably a couple of weeks. And um it was it was okay. I don't think it was great though. So I have to be fair though. I I will say that it's better than Jimmy John's, and Jimmy John's is already in D. So I think I'm gonna put it in bottom tier C. Um, yeah, I'm plopping it in the middle of D. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'll if, if it's like I'm driving and it's Quiznos or a one hour drive to the next place, and the mm -hmm. next place is Papa John's, I'm taking the one hour drive. So <laughs> it's. But it doesn't. It doesn't get F because I think like Blimpy's an F. So right. So next up we have Roy Rogers. What are your thoughts on Roy Rogers? Have you even been there or not? Ah, uh, maybe once or twice. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna put it in never had because I don't actually have an opinion. Yeah, I, I mean they're like, I don't know. They, what they do is I think they use like the sourdough bread. I think that's the big thing. Is like they, they, the, the bread is different. That they use. If I'm not mistaken. Um. But again, it's like, it's just not, it's just another like random kind of sandwich place. Um, yeah, they, they, it's sourdough, right, chat? It's sourdough, I think. Am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay. <laughs> Is Roy Rogers still in business? I haven't seen one in the last 20 years. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not great. I'll put a bottom tier C. Like bottom tier C. So Levy, you still there? I'm still there. Yeah, I just. I just so never... what about Sabaro? I've had Sabaro a few times, like at Port Authority, <laughs> like, <laughs> just starving, and my options are like eat at like you know a, like a like a jacket store, eat yeah. like a leather coat, or eat Sabaro. Uh, and it's about the same quality, but at least Sabaro is digestible. Uh, yeah, it, okay. It's, a D. it's not F. It's not F. It's like tolerable, but it's 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 a D. I mean, it's just not. It's so, so you know, for me, when I was young and I didn't know better, probably the two fast food places that I had the most, actually, I'm surprised this, this other one's not on here either, um, was Sabaro and Nathan's. Those were probably the two uh, fast food places I had the most. These, they left out Nathan's, dude. What? Yeah, hot dogs. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so, like, I would always get, like, the, the, like, the really dry, like, spaghetti and meatballs from Sabaro's, like, all the time. Um, and when I was young, I thought it was good. As I got older, I began to realize that it's really, really bad. Um, I think, I think there's probably, honestly, there's probably nothing worse in my opinion. It's, it's I think the worst of the worst. Um, so I think it's a well, solid F. It's probably even worse than KFC in my opinion. Okay. So, yeah, I've, I've, I've liked it the times yeah. I went, but it is pretty disgusting. Shake Shack. Shake. Sh oh, I've got Schlotzky's, but again. <laughs> Just <laughs> what you've never had Schlotzky's? I've never had Schlotzky's. No, what's that? that sounds... It's it's like again, it's the same thing. It's like it's like bagels and sandwiches. Breakfast, breakfast more though. It's like um, 
You know what it reminds me of is um, another one they left off. Is uh, what's it? It's um, is it Einstein's? Isn't there Einstein's? There's Einstein's. Um, Einstein's uh, bagels, is it called or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, it's I, I forget what it's called, but oh but yeah. yeah, I've had that. I've had that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's yeah. Einstein's Einstein should be on, but I guess bagels at breakfast is not really. Eh. I think I had Einstein's in. I'm, wait, am I wrong Seattle? on Slotsky's way? People are saying that I'm wrong on it. Am I just? Am I? Am, am I confusing with like something else? Let me take a look. Wait, I Hikaru, might be confusing there's, it. Hikaru, there's no Dunkin' Donuts on here. No, no, I, I'm not confusing it. Yeah, they, yeah, they are a sandwich place. What are you guys talking about? They are a sandwich place. Everyone's like they, they, they aren't a sandwich place. They totally are. Okay, yeah, you guys, you guys are nuts. People are like they're not a sandwich place. They're not not a sandwich place. They totally are. Um, I don't know. Okay, there's no Dunkin' Donuts. Where's Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, actually, Dunkin' Donuts should be on here. That's true. That's oh, true. Yeah, no coffee shops. I guess no no Tim Hortons. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they should be. Anyway, Schlotsky is like, again, I would just put them at the bottom of C. Not terrible, but yeah. All right, Shake Shack. So what do you think of Shake Shack? Uh, it's definitely... Okay, now I'm going to try to give an objective opinion this way, wanting to tear this apart. So where did I put in and out Where's in and out in and out is the top of C. Okay. Mm-hmm. For me. Ooh. Uh, all right. I'm going to put... I'm gonna put Shake Shack in my B tier. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So it's um, what's his name, D- Danny Mayer or, or whoever he is. Um, like he created Shake Shack. I mean, as someone who has a strong, um, strongly negative attitude towards New York and and the culinary scene in 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 the great city of New York, um, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the world of Shake Shack. I think it's overpriced. I don't think there's anything special about it. Um, like I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I really am not a fan of Shake Shack. I, I think it's overrated. I think it's overpriced. I, I, I've had it, and I don't think it's good at all. I think, I think they, they give Danny Mayer way too much credit. Um, and I, do, I, 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 I'm gonna put it bottom of C. I think it's a pretty terrible. No, I'll put it top of D. Even I think it's pretty terrible. Okay. Um, yeah. So next up we have oh Skyline. Wait, have I? Wait, what is this? Have I had this? What's it say? I can't read the. It's Skyline something. I'm gonna have to Google it just to see if I have Skyline Chili. The 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 icon looks familiar. That that's the icon looks familiar. But have I ever had it? Skyline Chili. Let me see the menu. I don't think I I don't think I have. Now that I look at it more. Um. No, no, I don't. I've never had it. Sorry, I've never had Skyline Chili. So. If I if I did, I was probably like five years old or something, and it was in New York. But I, I don't think I've had it. Um, okay, so Sonic, what are your thoughts? I very good, like for desserts. Mm-hmm. I think it's like fine. I don't. It's like a very solid dessert place. Is it better mm-hmm. than? I've had it about as many times as I've had uh, Dairy Queen. So okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, probably just I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna put it high tier C. Above okay. A and W, so I have In and Out okay. Burger King and Sonic. Okay, so yeah, okay, so I really have not had Sonic much in recent years. I, I actually, when I was when I was hiking and on vacation in Colorado last year in the great city of Salida, uh, Sonic was one of the best options that I could go to. So, um, so I did go to Sonic. I really like the drive-through, uh, or not drive. It's like where you park and order at the thing. I forget what you call it. Um, so. Uh, I forget. I think I got a burger, and and I was I was there with some other friends, and they got like the nice the the really nice like hot dog with chili. I think it was. Um, so Sonic. I mean Sonic. I feel like it's pretty. Or actually, you put it in C. Sorry, why I'm not putting it there. Um, I think it's decent. I don't think it's fantastic. Um, I think it's probably. I'm gonna put it middle tier D for me. That's where it belongs. Middle tier D. That's called the chili dog. Yes, the chili dog. Exactly. Chili oh, wow, dog. You just... Sonic. Yeah. You went on like a big storytelling, and then I was like, "It's gonna go for B," and then you just like threw it in D. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, because it's like it's probably D or me. No, I mean, I have a hard time putting it above. Like, I'll put it in C. I'll put it in C. I'll put it. Nah. Did I really put Quiznos in C? Did I really put Quiznos in C? That looks too high now. Whatever. I'll leave oh, it as Quiznos is. is D for me. Yeah, I think I don't know why it's in C. It should be in D. 
Okay. Um, okay, so next up we have uh, Steak and Shake. <laughs> steak and Shake. What are your thoughts? Uh, I've had Steak and Shake a few times. There's one in Manhattan. Uh, mm -hmm. It's complete and utter garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, I don't know what, I mean, okay, Hikaru, if you're eating a burger, are you going to drink uh, a soda or have a shake? I'm going to drink neither. I'm going to drink water. But like you have to. <laughs> I, if, I mean, if I have to be that terrible, then I'm going to have a shake. All right. But, well, I respectfully disagree. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I, I think Steak and Shake is, is, is not good. Very not good. Yeah, I've had Steak and Shake. I think I had it once or twice in the great state of Indiana, um, which I think we ranked very poorly on the state tier. <laughs> um, yeah, Steak and Shake is... Uh, I would say something if this, if this, if this, if, if I was being very unprofessional. But as as we're very professional people here, it's a professional stream. I will refrain from saying certain things. I will instead just say it is very deserving of being in the F category, hundred mm -hmm. percent in the F category. Um, okay, so next up is Subway. What are your thoughts on Subway? So growing up, I ate Subway a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. because I liked how it tasted and somehow my parents were convinced that it was like not completely terrible. Uh, but compared to the other sandwich places on this list, mm -hmm. it's either a D or an F. Mm -hmm. uh, but man, it's, you know, it's got a few, a few like it, it now nah, I'm going to put it D. It's low D, very low D. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm, it's better than Quiznos though. So Quiznos goes a lot lower in D. Yeah, so Subway is, again, another place that I feel like when I was younger, it had a really good reputation. Obviously, there was Jared, the foot long, six inches dieting. You know, there was, there was a, they were one of the earliest, I think, in terms of, like, the diet craze. Um, okay, chat, take a deep breath. Um, so so what, what, what I would say is that... Um, I like they were they were really cool growing up, and now I it felt like somewhere in, like, the late 90s, they kind of lost their footing, and... Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I, I had it in the UK and London a couple times. I would get like the, 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 the meatball sandwich or like the, I think there was like a Caesar and there was just chicken something. There was something else that I would get and it was, it was, it was okay. Um, but yeah, it's like gone downhill. I would say it's, um, for me, it's a solid, I think, you know what? I think it's enough. I think, I think if they fall in that far that for me, it's enough now. I think it's definitely enough. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so yeah, it's just just not good. <laughs> okay, so next up we have uh, oh chicken teriyaki. Yeah, but it tastes really bad, really bad. Okay, that was my least favorite one. <laughs> yeah, I, so, I really so, didn't like. So next up, Waffle House. What do you think about Waffle House? Uh, I have Taco Bell next. Did you just turn on the AC, by the way? I did. I did. Yes. Okay, yeah, because I can suddenly hear something in the background. <laughs> okay. Um. Did you just turn it off? No, I'm muting my mic when uh, I'm not speaking. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so Waffle House, what are your thoughts? Wait, but you don't have Taco Bell? Oh, so oh, I think I put it back on my list, but I, because I accidentally put it in, uh, never had it, I put it in the wrong order. Sorry. Okay, so Taco Bell next. What are your thoughts on Taco Bell? It's so good, dude. <laughs> it's just so unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, it's, not, it's not my top five, though. I'm going to put it in the top of B. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Taco Bell, just amazing. Um, I mean, I've had, I've probably had Taco Bell. I think if I look at this whole list, I think I've probably had Taco Bell more than any other fast food, um, at least growing up. Like there are none others that I think compare with it. Just amazing. Like the, 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 the bean burritos were great. I used to love the chili cheese burritos. Of course, you could always get the burrito supreme. Really, really good stuff. Um, like, yeah, just also the soft tacos are worth to die for. Um, you can get it like with the uh, the hard shell or the soft shell. <laughs> I think yeah. Mountain Dew Baja Blast, like yeah, yeah. on top of all that. Oh, it's just so good. But I yeah. just can't have it. I just can't have it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there was cheesy gorditas. Yes, I forgot about that. True, but yeah, burrito supreme forever. Um, definitely B tier. I'm gonna put it bottom of B tier though, because I think I think I probably thought it was better than it was when I was growing up. But yeah, definitely a B tier. So next I don't up feel is, too strongly about Waffle House. You could, I, I know, for me, I'm just, it's in the middle. I've had it well, a few times. Well, you know, the thing is, I've categorized a certain way, and I'm looking at the breakfast places that are actually on this list, um, very specifically like uh, IHOP and Denny's. Um, 
and I think it's by far and away better than the other two. I don't think anything is comparable. Um, so I think it has to go in S tier for me. Or sorry, for in the um, in the best. And I mean, basically, the reason it has to go in best is because it's the best of the breakfast places by far. It's no different than Domino's. I think if I'm Domino's, objectively, probably is not in the best tier, but it's by far and away the best of the pizza places. When I look at the breakfast places, um, IHOP, or I look at um, uh, what was the other one? IHOP or uh, or Denny's, not even close, not even a comparison. So it has to be Waffle House. Um, so so yeah, it it has to be Waffle House for sure. So yeah, all right. So Waffle okay. House goes in there. Um, I'm just rearranging my best list. So yeah, okay. All right. So next up is um yeah is Wawa's. I don't really know why is Wawa's really considered fast food. Isn't that just like a, isn't that just like where you go when you get gas? No, I'm kind of confused why Wawa's here because I've I've had it in Philadelphia a lot, and mm -hmm. like anytime I go to like World Open, I get Wawa. I love Wawa. Actually, I think it's amazing. Their yeah. hoagies are really tasty, but like it's like a really regional thing right so, it's all on the east coast yeah so i don't know um i'm gonna put it in b because i really like it mm -hmm. but uh, that's my whole opinion yeah yeah i i agree yeah yeah you know like i mean i've had there's actually wawa's in florida and i went to college in pennsylvania so i am very familiar with wawa's um but yeah i think it's just it's probably bottom of the b tier for me i would say okay so next up is wendy's my favorite Top five goes up there. Uh, I'm gonna put it number one, right? Number two to five guys. Okay. Hikaru, um, you cannot debate with the four for four. Junior bacon cheeseburger, four piece chicken nuggets with sauce, fries, and a drink for four dollars. I mean, it's so good. Isn't there a Jack in the Box thing that's comparable though? Yeah, but Jack in the Box is like eating from a dumpster, and Wendy's is like eating food at the gates of heaven, and <laughs> Wendy's is top five for me. I, you, okay. I'm just saying, it, it was always going to be my top five. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've had Wendy's many times. Like, I think it's okay. I'm not, a, I'm not crazy, though. I, I really don't think it's special. Um, yeah, I think for me it's a C. It's a C. Okay, good. C and above. Is, is it better like than Burger King? It's middle C. It's better than what? Is it better than Burger King? Yes, it's better than Burger King. Yeah, I agree. But you prefer McDonald's? Oh yeah, yeah, all the okay, way. Okay, then I'll, I'll, that's fine. That's fine. As long all as I mean, Burger King, all Burger King cannot be better than those. Yeah, no, so. no, McDonald's is the best. Um, okay, the next up is uh, you have Whataburger, right? Yeah. So what do you think about Whataburger? I actually really like it, but I've only ever had it at, at the airport in Texas <laughs> like four times. Texas baby. <laughs> It's it's good. It's a lot better than A and W in my opinion. I put it uh, right next to right next to In and Out in C, so top of C. Hmm. Okay, for me, I like I love Whataburger. It's great. Um, I think it's a it's near the top of B. I think it's it's very very up there. It's top of B. Okay. Um, very okay. very good. I respect it. I I think you and I are gonna differ immensely on White Castle. Okay. What are your thoughts on White Castle? like f i think it's gross i think their burgers are gross i don't i i hate the concept of what they do with burgers i just think it's disgusting i mean it's like if you gotta if you're constipated white castle all right so then you go to oh, sheets man. after and then <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. okay i mean uh, yeah white castle is disgusting i just can't i mean they made a movie about it dude like it was in a movie like <laughs> yeah um, um i of course don't i <laughs> don't <laughs> Don't, don't agree at all, unsurprisingly. I mean, the Crave Pack is one of the greatest things ever. Um, I, I really, I, I do like it. You just get a bunch of little burgers. Uh, that actually, fun fact for those of you guys who are wondering, that was my uh, celebration dinner when I won the U.S. Championship in 2009. Um, it was basically, I was there with my, my trainer, Chris, and um, it was in St. Louis. And um, and we basically went out, and I think we got some beer, and we got we got got a Crave Pack. That was our celebration. So, um so yeah, I, I I have very fond memories of um, of White Castle. I I think for me it's probably a C tier. I, I think it's like middle. Um, eh, no, maybe it's more bottom tier, but it's definitely C tier. Uh, I have a fun story about White Castle. It doesn't involve me. It involves my good friend, Mr. Mm -hmm. Alex Ostrovsky. Yeah. And when he was in middle school, he hung out with these cool kids. And one day, they were like high school, maybe ninth or tenth grade. 
And so one day they, they cut class because they were bad students and, mm -hmm. or maybe they had break and they went to White Castle and they got uh, a little bit, they, they weren't fully sober, let's put it this way. And e they spent the afternoon in their respective restrooms. So, <laughs> you know, that was okay. good enough for me. I've had White Castle. It's, I, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't like it. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So next up is, uh, is a Wiener Schnitzel. Never had it, so you you've never had it. Okay, no, I don't. So, I don't like, know. I mean, again, it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. I would say, like, they they do, of course, Wiener Schnitzel. It's German. That's the word for hot dog. So they're primarily like a hot dog place. I mean, what I don't like is that Wiener Schnitzel is on here, but Nathan's isn't, for example. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, chat, stop acting all weird. Um, yeah. So for me, like, they do hot dogs. They're kind of okay. They're not like great. They're not terrible. Um. <laughs> um so so yeah no I, I i know i know you guys i know wiener schnitzel means like i know it means something it means like a breaded schnitzel i know i've been to austria too but they're but the but the restaurant is well known for um for the hot dogs so um so i don't know for me i think it's decent it's not great it's probably just like i don't know d tier maybe so i think that rounds it out let me see if i feel happy with everything here i'm definitely happy with the f category I feel pretty happy with the D category. I mean, Shake Shack actually should be higher now that I look at it. Um, C category looks pretty stable. B, yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good with the with the, with it overall. I think I'm happy with this. Let me take one more look. Donald's, I guess. That's best. No, you know what? I'm gonna actually rearrange it. I'm gonna change the categorizing of um of the best versus B tier. I mean, let me see. Um. Definitely that. What else is? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna put Taco Bell on the best. By the way, I rearranged it slightly, Levy. That's fine. So I, I, I my, rearranged. Yeah, Taco Bell's at the very top of B for me. So actually, no, but I have I have Chipotle. I forgot Chipotle exists. Sorry, no, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work. I forgot I already had Chipotle. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I'm pretty happy. Five Guys, Pop Belly, Chipotle. Those two are very, very solid best here. Waffle House belongs, I would say. Um, you know what? I, actually, I'm, I'm going to put Pop, Pop, Popeyes in the best. I'm going to put that in the best. Um, I, I, uh, Popeyes is amazing. I, I have to do, I have to put Popeyes. I, I've had it since I was young. It's amazing. They always, I've always had like the, 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 the chicken, the mashed potatoes, the biscuits. It's been a staple. They, they have, and now they have the chicken sandwich to boot. Um, so they, they go in the best. So yeah, I, I rearranged it slightly, but that's what it should be. I have so. one left and it's just wing stop. Yeah, I've never been there. Oh, so yeah, go ahead. I think Wingstop, unless like a place in New York ripped off the logo of Wingstop, let me go see if <laughs> Wingstop, New York City. Oh, 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 wow, this is. I'm sorry, someone in my chat just wrote something that said, Waffle House is the best. How can it be the best when the light in the W is how it hits the Waffle House? <laughs> um, I. <laughs> In general, Waffle House is... Oh, no. <laughs> no, but it's, the reason I'm laughing is because it's actually true. I've seen a couple of Waffle Houses where the W is actually out. That's the problem. So it's actually really, really funny. Um, yeah. Awful House. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, there's no Buffalo Wild Wings, which is great. True. I love Buffalo Wild It's a kind of a travesty. It's not here. Uh, I think Wingstop is... Um, Wingstop is like the the White Castle of wings. I think it's very bad. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot better places for wings. First of all, jokes aside, Hooters has great wings. <laughs> they have yes, delicious they wings. do. Yeah, I've I've actually gone there. They have like bottomless wings. I think where you can just keep keep getting it in like some period of time. Yeah, um, no, or something I think, like that. I think, I've done that many times. Just amazing. I think Wingstop is gas station level tier mm -hmm. uh, wings. So yeah, it's a it's an F for me, guys. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, true. So, um, yeah. 
All right. Yeah, so a pretty, pretty good list. So I'm pretty happy with it. I know my chat's not happy with it, but I'm pretty That's, happy with the list. They like KFC and whatever. What, what do they like? They like KFC. We put something else. I don't know. KFC, like KFC is and the Arby's. worst. KFC is the worst. Yeah, this is not a... Uh... Yeah. This is not... Oh, I'll have to have Jollibee when I'm in um when I'm in uh when I'm in Manila? New York, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. will. Yeah. yeah. I'll take you there. It'll be great. I've never been yeah. there. Um but uh Filipinos do dessert right. Halo Halo is mm -hmm. delicious. So okay. shout out to my my Filipinos. There's like probably how many? How many go out watching? Like ten? Fair enough. Okay. Are you gonna you gonna keep keep doing your thing? You yeah, keep I'm gonna keep, keep keep going. Um, yeah, so I, I think I'm just gonna do a view arena and just keep rolling along. The hours just keep on melting, melting every day. All right. Cool. All right. I'll, so that was fun. I'll, I'll figure out my life. Uh, yeah, this was fun. Let's uh, let's. I, I don't know what we have coming next, but it'll be it'll be exciting. Well, be on fun. Wednesday we have something. Are we doing the? We're doing. Uh, we're gonna rank. Um, uh, Nesmedino. Uh, Right yeah, we have a chess player. Yeah. yeah, like Nesmadinov. Um, who else was there? There's someone else. The best chess players of all time. Yeah, there's someone else. Not was there like Paul Karas? I don't know. Okay. I, I, yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't open it. I haven't opened yeah. it yet. So okay. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. But all right. My homework. Cool. Cool. So yeah. All right. Well, I'll catch up with you later then. Okay. All right. Cool. See you guys. All right. Bye. Later. Bye.